Hi and welcome to week one of our YouTube challenge. This week I'm going to show you how to make one of these felt pandas. To make one of these pandas you will need white and black felt, white and black thread, a small amount of stuffing, scissors, pins, needles, and paper and a pencil. Step one is to draw the pattern for our panda. This is probably the hardest step so don't worry if you draw the pattern a couple times before you're happy with it. It doesn't matter what size you want your panda to be. It, it can be any size. Uh, my panda here is about a little over three inches. So I'm going to try to make my new panda the same height. I'm still I'm going to make the ears extra long so that I can stick them in between the two body pieces and then sew around. It just makes it a lot easier. And draw on the pattern panda's eyes right onto the pattern. Alright, now you can cut out the pattern. I liked one leg that I had drawn better than the other, so I decided to just use that piece, that pattern piece for both legs, and I did the same with the uh, arms and ears. Next, cut out one eye piece out of the pattern. Don't worry that you're cutting into it, it won't make a difference. Alright, you can start pinning your pattern pieces to your felt. You will want two body pieces, two arms, two legs, two ears, and two eye pieces. Alright, once you have done that, you should have two legs, two arms, two body pieces, two eyes, and two ears. Now you could take a tiny scrap of your black felt and cut a small circle from it. This is going to be your panda's tail. Alright, I've threaded a needle with some black thread. and I'm going to take the top piece of my panda and the two eye pieces and I am going to stitch them to the white uh, felt. I found that this works way better than any fabric glue. We're just going to do a few tiny stitches here and there on each eye to make sure the eye stays on there. When you're done with one eye, just cross over onto the other eye. When you're done with the second eye, turn your panda over and knot your thread. Alright, now I am going to take the other piece, uh, body piece of my panda and the tail. I'm going to put the tail where I think it should go. I'm going to take my needle, which is still threaded some, with some black thread, and do the same thing I did for the eyes. Just a few little stitches here or there to keep the tail in place. When I'm done with that, I'm going to turn my panda over and knot my thread. Now, going back to uh, the front piece of your panda, I am going to sew on its nose and mouth. I'm going to make a little nose like that, and I'm going to do the mouth. I'm going to insert my needle where I think the nose should be. And I'm just going to go up a little ways like that. I'm, go I'm going to make this panda have kind of a rectangular nose. The other one there has circular nose, but this one's going to have a rectangular. When you're happy with the nose, you can start on the mouth. I'm going to insert my needle just below the nose, like that. I'm going to bring it down a little ways. I'm going to go back up to where I started, right below the nose. I'm going to go the other direction. I'm going to go back to where I started. And just to make my mouth a little more bold, I'm going to just go over my, uh, where I went before. And now your panda's face is done. And I'm going to turn my panda over and knot my thread. 
Now you are ready to sew your panda up. I'm going to put the white pieces to, on top of one another again, making sure the tail is on the outside. I'm going to put my arm pieces in between the two body pieces. I like to pin them, so um, pin them so they stay in place. I'm going to do the same for the ears and the legs. Alright, I've threaded my needle with some white thread and I am going to use whip stitch to sew up my bunny. I'm just going to insert my needle in between the two body pieces right at the base of the ear. And that way the knot is hidden and you won't see it. Alright, now bring the thread over the edge of the two white pieces and insert your needle in the back headpiece and then poke it through the just below the edge of the white headpiece All right now do the same insert your needle just over the edge of the white just under the edge in the back and Pull your thread, insert it over the edge, over here, and I am going to continue doing this all the way around here, around here, and I'm going to stop as soon as I fin uh, pass the second arm, and I'm going to stop and stuff the panda. Uh, be careful when you're going over all your panda's limbs. It's very, it's not very difficult whip stitching around limbs, but it can be difficult. Uh, make sure that you just go nice and slow. All right, I've just passed the second arm and I am going to stop and stuff my panda. You will probably want a pencil or any small thin object to help you stuff your panda. When you're happy with how your panda is stuffed, you can continue to whip stitch up to where you started. Whip stitching when the panda is stuffed can be difficult. Just keep grabbing the two edges and pulling them together. When you've gotten back to the start, make a small knot and then insert your needle in between two stitches and pull your, push, push your needle out the seam between the two ears and pull the knot through. This is to keep your panda from uh, falling apart and to hide the ugly knot. When you're done with it, you can just snip the thread as close to the head as possible and your panda is done. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you liked the video. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe.